Hi, let's quickly solve for the value of x. Trust me, don't even waste your energy trying to use knowledge of algebra to solve this because you know what? It's not going to work. This can only work when you use a function and I'm going to introduce that at a point on this video. Thank you so much for joining my channel. Let's solve for x. The first thing that, sorry, the first thing that we need to do is to introduce uh, ln to both sides of the equation. So let's take the natural log of both sides of this equation. So when we do that, we have ln 4 to the power of x is equal to ln x, right? Right. Now, when you have ln a to the power of x, okay, this is equal to x ln a. So we are going to bring this down to multiply our ln 4, all right? So we have x ln 4 is equal to ln x. Please permit me to bring this to this side and this to the other side. I have my reason, okay? So we can now write that ln x is equal to x ln 4. Now let's divide through by x, okay? So divided by x, divided by x, and we are going to have ln x divided by x is equal to ln 4. Now let me introduce you to this wonderful function I've been talking about. Because that is the only savior that we have here. Now, what is that function? The Lambert W function. Yes, this Lambert W function is a life-saving function. Now, this function states that when you have a, e to the power of a, and you introduce this W function, that you are going to get a as your answer. Now, that simply means that if I have 2, e to the power of 2, and I introduce the lambda w function that my solution becomes 2. Now, in this case, I'll try to make this particular side of the equation in such a way that I'll have something in this form so that when I introduce my lambda w function, I'll get this as my solution. All right? Now, let's do that. Now, to do it, in this lambda w function, let me write it again. Notice that we have e here. And I want you to know something, that e to the power of ln anything, so ln 2, say ln 2 is still 2, all right? So e to the power of ln 2 is 2, okay? Now, that simply means that this x, I can replace it with what? e to the power of ln x, all right? So let's go ahead and do that. So I'll write this as what? ln x divided by e to the power of ln. I don't know why I'm writing my ln like this. Please, this is L and N, okay? Natural log. I think it's better now. So, E ln x, right? E ln x is equal to ln 4. So, in this, we have not changed anything. No, I have not. Because this is still the same thing as what? X. Now, notice that we have E multiplying our A. See this? Isn't that amazing, right? That means I can bring this up to multiply our ln x okay yes look at it you are forming what you wanted to form all this line now if this is the first time you're coming across this channel why haven't you subscribed oh, yeah. subscribe before you forget <laughs> okay please subscribe to the channel turn on your notification bell so you'll be notified anytime i upload a new video thank you so much now back to what we are doing so i'm going to bring this up because i'm trying to form something similar to this so I will now have ln x multiplied by e. Now, because this is coming up, note that x is equal to 1 over x. All right, sorry. x to the power of minus 1 is equal to 1 over x. So that simply means that if I wanted to remove this 1 over, we introduce negative sign to the power of this x, okay? So that is exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to introduce negative power to negative to the power of e, which is ln x. So I will have minus ln x okay now perfect is equal to what ln 4 i don't want to clean this so that you see what we are trying to do now when you look at this notice that this and this seem to be correct but seem to be the same but they are not all right now when you look at this you notice that we have minus here and we don't have minus here so all we need to do to ensure that both of them are the same is to multiply through by minus 1. And if we do that, we have minus ln x multiplied by e to the power of minus ln x is equal to minus ln 4. Okay? 
perfect. Now look at this. If we should call this our a and this is our a, notice we have a exponent a, all right? a e to the power of a. Do you understand? Now that means that we can now comfortably introduce our lambda w function. Now let's do that. So I now clean this. Let me clean this. So let's introduce our function. So we have minus ln x multiplied by what? e to the power of minus ln x. Okay, is equal to the W function of minus ln 4. Okay, perfect. I think it's time for me to turn this way. Now, look at this. Because this and this are the same, when you introduce the lambda W function, the solution you are going to get is minus ln x, right? So here we have minus ln x, okay, is equal to the W function of minus ln 4. Okay, now we need to do something here. And what is that? We need to make this to be the same with what we have here. And how do we do that? Recall what I said, that we need, um, what do we need here? We need ln x first. Let's bring out ln x first so that we can easily bring out our x. We are going to see how we are going to do that. And to bring out ln x, that means we need to de uh, multiply through by minus 1, right? So let's go ahead and do that. Permit me to clean this. Now we have... When we multiply through by minus 1, we are going to have um, ln x is equal to minus the w function of minus ln 4. Perfect. Do you know why I'm saying that this is cool now? Because recall that e ln anything should give us that thing. And we're actually looking for x. So if we should introduce e as our base, we are going to get our x. All right? But that doesn't end there. So stick with me and see how this ends. Now, we are going to introduce our E. So we have E here and we have E here. Okay? So e, um, this to the power of ln x will give us what? x is equal to E to the power of minus the lambda w function of ln 4. Now, we have that x is equal to, we can now rewrite this as 1 over now, when I introduce 1 over, I'm going to remove this minus from the power of our e, right? That means I can now write this as e to the power of w function of minus ln 4. Now, this is our x. Now, this is not a real root. It is a complex root. And the value is what? x is equal to minus 0 0.0887 plus 1.512i. So this is a complex solution. Thank you so much for watching and...